next year, 2024, and it's okay. I gotta fix this. I can't go on in my life feeling guilty and being overwhelmed. Fix the problem, Martin. Yeah, this is the dream for my life. This is what I really want. The lifestyle I want. This is what I see that I want to build. Some people they're watching right now say, okay, how can I fix that? I still feel guilty. I still feel split because I want to be good everywhere. Fine, you have to realize what you really want because clarity will bring change. If you're not clear and intentional, you're going to go to every direction, but no direction, right? Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Wilkie Show. Bonjour. Today, we're going to talk about something that a lot of people, they face in their life. Do you feel split sometime? Do you feel guilty, not being enough, not doing enough? This is what we're going to talk today, Alan. This is a reality of a lot of people. They have goals. They want to succeed. They feel they're not doing enough for their family, not doing enough for their kids, their husband, their job, their business, and they dance between the two worlds, right? Mm -hmm. And this is tough to succeed this way. You know that uh, most women on in careers, they're in network marketing, they're trying to do hustle, they're dealing with their husbands, their children, uh, all of these resistance. So... And that's what causes, you know, I, you're guilty of not being a good wife or a good mother. You're, you, you feel guilty that you're not enough because all this is happening, but you want to succeed now. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to just touch that subject because I think it's important for every person out there doing some hustle part time or you want to do a career, you're, you're in network marketing, you're trying a career, you're going to school, you're trying to balance <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the worst thing. I love this word. Team. Try to balance. Yeah. You know, I don't believe really that you can have a perfect balanced life yeah, yeah. because sometimes your family can ask you more energy, more investment. Sometimes it's your business. You have a new client, a big contract, and you have to realize then we have different season in our life. Season of you can put more energy for a time in this contract, and you have to share with your family, with the people. Listen. For this period of time, I'm going to be more busy. I'm going to have less time to do that. But we have to be clear. If we don't clarify that, everybody can suffer of this. But to be well balanced in every area and at the same time, I don't believe that. You know, especially if you're sick for a period of time, you cannot be balanced to take care of your family the same way, at the same level you would like to do. We need to realize that in every period, a season of our life, to learn how to deal with that. You see, when a couple comes together, they start their lives, they got dreams, you know, they're, and we're going to do this, we're going to go get that, buy the house, have kids, no, no, no. But then it gets complicated. Then we see how many women we saw that, okay, I'm going to get married, they're, they're going to school, university, or they got some kind of career going or side hustle, they're working hard, and then they get married. So now, okay, I'll put this aside and... I'll have the children and come back in my career later on. Or they're trying to go into this the wrong way with the wrong attitude and there's confrontations, there's there's things that they didn't know. That's when stuff happens. So if you're going to go into a career, you want success, it's going to need a lot of effort and time and strategies and concepts. And the thing is, we go into stuff thinking that, okay, let's just do that. And we don't think about the challenges. What's the worst case scenario? What is the cost is going to cost me in time and energy? And what do I have to put aside? How my agenda has got to be structured? Because it's a question of structure, right? The structure is the most important. You're, you're just shooting goals out there. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to start hard, <laughs> side hustle. You talk about the structure, the system to put in place, right? To yeah, succeed. Yeah. So now I want to be a lawyer. And then I'm going to get married, have kids and stuff. So we're not thinking about the structure. We're not thinking about, okay, everything is going to cost time. And if we don't fix that, frustration is going to happen. We don't. And plus, we've got two worlds coming together because we're going to talk a little bit about that and this show of the cycles, right? Yeah. That I had in my life, the cycles you had in your life, and it's everything. It's the same thing for any couple. You come from two backgrounds and so on, so on. Yeah, exactly. You know, you said so many things, and yeah, yeah. I just want to go back to the mindset, pick and choose. Yeah. You know, for us, is I can have it all. I want it all. You mm -hmm. know, I want my family. I want to be happy with my kids. 
I want to be happy in my marriage. I want to succeed to fulfill myself. Mm-hmm. You know, I believe that real success is to fulfill the reason of your existence, the dream of your life. Yeah. I want to I wanna have my health to feel good with my beauty, you know, my body to feel good. I, I want it all. And we come to a culture and mindset. I have to pick and choose. Mm-hmm. You just said, okay, if I'm going to have some kids, I cannot do my career or my business anymore. Or I have to, to let something go to have something else. Mm-hmm. Not for me. I decided <laughs> more than 30 years ago, no, I want it all. And this is part of my story. It's a mindset, right? It's a cultural mindset, generational mindset. It's, you know, some mindset. We grew up and we talk about cycle to try to repeat the same cycle that the generation before, like my mom, like, you know, the generation, how they perceive life, how they react with life. And um, when we had Josh, uh, you know, I was pregnant and I say, when I'm going to have Josh, I'm going to deliver, um, I'm going to take like six months off. You know, I'm going to take the time and just be home and at home. And and uh, I realized <laughs> two weeks after Josh was born, I was already on the scene speaking and doing to fulfill myself. Because for me, it's it's not a job. It's not, you know, like tough and hard. It's something I like to do. I love to do. And Josh was only two two weeks uh, born. And uh, we had people, we put in place, you were talking about, I want to go back with the system. You know, see, mindset, you can block yourself, stop yourself to have it all. And if we just go and say, no, I can't have it all. And life and things was going to come in order to help me to have it all and fulfill the dream of my life. And you, you, we started to have some help for Josh. Mm-hmm. I was able to fulfill myself and continue my career, what I love to do at the same time to be happy with you and to have, you know, a good time with my son. This is a kind of mindset and the mindset, if you a little bit raise your standard, enlarge your limitation, you're going to see that you're going to start, start to attract help and um, solution and the system to put in place to succeed. Exactly. So any woman that wants to succeed and she feels guilty of maybe I'm not a bit good wife, maybe I'm not a good mother to my kids, and they feel really uh, overwhelmed by the structure. The kids are going to school. we got to bring this, the sports, uh, the husband. Nah, nah. So when you start building a structure of help around you, like you were saying, that's when you are you can do what your goals. I mean, you you hire somebody to do the cleaning, you've got somebody doing cooking the food, you've got some some help to bring the kids to to this place or that place. And at the same time, what you do if you have the kids there or you you're at a sports game, you can be on the phone, do your side hustles, whatever you're doing network marketing, speaking to clients. You can enjoy the, your life with your husband. He's, he's doing this and you're sitting there and you're on the phone doing business on the computer. You've got a structure that protects you, your life, your business, your goals, your career, because now I'll go back to the mindset, okay? You, the cycles. Everybody has a cycle in their life. Everybody. Everybody, uh, whatever the level you are, you face some cycles, some paradigm. Everybody has a cycle yeah. in their lives that's going to come. It's such a resistance, mm-hmm. and it brings that challenge into your life. So if your husband has comes from a different family, a different mindset and, and finances, and the way a family has to go, a wife that's, that has a career, he, he never knew that. Now he's, he's marrying a woman that has that 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 personality and he's trying to put her as a housewife and but she wants to succeed if what happens his life is going to be miserable so and you're going to be miserable too so and then you've got the other side you've got your wife coming up and she grew up in a, a different type of family the way she ate the way she lived her life that family the the words everything that all these cycles were different than the other cycles then you come and put this together and she wants to succeed, but she wants to be a good wife, so she feels guilty, overwhelmed there, and she lost she loses control. 
of her life, of her career. She doesn't understand herself no more. She she just she doesn't recognize herself, her life. That's not what she wanted. But at the same time, she feels guilty. She's now a wife and a mother. And, I think and, one thing helped me because when you met me, we are we are together since twenty three years now. Yeah, married twenty one years, and we're happier than never before. Yeah, yeah. We're just in the best time of our life right now. And um, you met me. I was already a businesswoman, yeah, right? We're a different case, though. We 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 had both our careers. And yeah, but totally different. You know, but you never put pressure on me than to change for you. Mm -hmm. You know, you want me to succeed. It was not easy for you all the time because you chose me to be this kind of woman. But you, um, to be with a, a woman that has leadership and push, and it's different case for the people watching the show right now. I think we have all different personality, different dreams in our life, different desires, and it's fine. But one thing we realize is if we come together, we're never going to try to uh, kill the dream of the other. Try to we we dis we decided to help each other and to push each other, right? Mm -hmm. And we realized quickly that we didn't want to build a marriage like the generation before, not because it was all bad, no, but we want to have better, higher. And we realized that we didn't want a marriage according to the culture or the generation or the religious side. We want to have a marriage like a king and queen building an empire together. And this is why we call us the power of two, right? Mm -hmm. Because the power of two coming together in unity and help each other, this has really impacted our life, both of us. Because I am your biggest fan. I love to support you, to be there with you, and the same for you with me. I realized really, growing up, my mom was at home, but she was not more present you know, very busy to do a lot of stuff around the house. And it's a, I have a good mother and I have nothing against, you know, the way I happened. But I realized, hey, my mom was at home, but still very busy. Mm -hmm. And if I work and have my, I can, when I'm going to be with my son, I'm going to be fully present. This is what I learned. To not be at work and have my mind at home and feel guilty and split and not be at home and feel guilty and split with my work, you know? I realized that the system I needed to be and break the cycle because my mom was at home, but not really present. Busy. See, well, she was busy doing many stuff around the house. And I said to myself, if I take time with Josh, I want to be fully present there. Mm -hmm. When it's time to work, and my family know I'm very focused. Now it's time to work. And I think order brings success. Mm -hmm. This is something we really build together. And we want to build a, a kingdom and empire to help each other and to not feel guilty, but instead to support each other to do the best we can. Same thing with the guys. Guys, you know, they, 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 they go to work, their wife, they have children. The guys are are in business, they're, they're, they're hustling, 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 so they miss the game, uh, the, the kids' game, and so, they, they, they feel uh, guilty because the guys, because they're not there half the time, because w what happened is they separated, they made two worlds out of one world. Like, instead of, you know, having, working side by side, so the guys are going through the same thing, same, same, but same, same thing, because now you, you don't feel like a good husband and a good father because you're not there half the time and you're not connect. You, you have no connection with the family. So yeah, I think yes, a lot of men so can feel this way too. What you got to do as a partners yeah. is become partners, right? Exactly. Or else you're not partners. It's just your your, your two people say, okay, let's let's make a family and and we were we'll, in love and we'll, be married. We'll, <laughs> We'll, we'll make it happen, you know, yeah. there's no structure. And then as you accumulate things, the house comes in, the payments comes in, the jobs, extra time, reality, and the kids, Hit. And, and their school, and then they're growing up. And now all of a sudden, you, you, you're, you're overwhelmed. And now you're tired. And and, and so the guys are, are having times with their friends, but now their buddies and, and, and 
it, it's disrupting everything. The, this disorder comes in and everybody's feeling guilty. Nobody's fixing the problem. Yeah, I agree with what you say. Uh, but some part, I believe, still today, unfortunately, it's then culture. culturally, <laughs> I think it's more acceptable or stereotype than for the man to to do the work, go to work, and or build a business, and he, he's gonna do more hours and not be so much present at home. He can feel. I agree that some part of his life he can say, "I would like to share more time with my family or mm -hmm. to be more present," but it's more like acceptable culturally this kind of stereotype instead of a woman that she's busy at work and she's going to have to do overtime or more hours or she has uh, she's writing a book and speaking and engagement and all of that and she's not she's not at home like she would like to be or present at home like she would like i think culturally it's it's more women's going to feel guilty because of the stereotype of the gender with the family yeah what but, do you think about yeah. that <clears throat> yeah, exactly. So that's why we come in and say, okay, we, we want to build a kingdom, right, to, to leave a legacy so uh, to the children's children, right? So that's maybe what, maybe 3%, 5% of society, of couples, men and women coming together and saying, okay, we're going to build a legacy. It's a very different DNA, very different. There's women out there, they're, they're overwhelmed because they're looking for this kingdom, thing because a kingdom there's a king and a queen sitting and they're everything they do is more than money it's to build a legacy mm -hmm. and they have to come together mm -hmm. that's why we said we we are the power to we understood the power to even the network marketing mm -hmm. the power to what, mm -hmm. what creates a a, a, a down line that that builds and, and is successful is the power too so we decided okay Say it again, the power of two, it's not the, just one. No, 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 it's the power of <laughs> two. If you're building a kingdom, if you want an average life, I understand. It's okay. Yeah. I'm, it, not, I'm not criticizing the people who want an average life. And we talk in this show about to have it all. If you want to have correct, it all. Correct. yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to have it all, you got to bring in the power of two. And if you have to couple. change the cycle. Do you know the way of thinking, yeah. mindset, yeah. the way, the perception, yeah. the way of yeah. Things, you can't do the same things the same way. You have way. to change the way you see things. And it's tough because you've got two two strong characters have attitude and but at least we've got the same goal. There's women out there that are alone and they had, you know, relationships didn't work and guys that same thing with guys. So but they feel why did why their relationship got wasted is because of this factor these girls wanted to succeed these women wanted to succeed and they, and they got overwhelmed or they, they were so guilty and then what happens is very negative you're not building no more you're destroying yeah you're not you lost control when you lose control of a horse i mean you lost control he's he's, he's oh yeah but sometimes people they're just gonna you know they're gonna just accept the situation and live yeah. with it, survive, instead survive. to thrive and yeah. to just, no, I want I, to look at the mirror and say, no, I deserve better. I want better. I'm going to fight to have better. And in this year, 2024, I believe that it's a year of excellency to go and get, to build better, to, to just fight for your dream, to live a life by no regret, to decide, no, I have just one life to live and I just want to have to create the best. I'm the creator of my life. And I felt for a marriage. You know, people, they're watching right now. They don't know their story. But in the beginning of a relationship 23 years ago, people, they were saying, you're better to separate guys. You mm -hmm. you have, you know, pe people, they look at us and say, oh, this is easy for them. This is, you know, not my reality with my, my, my couple, my situation. But I just want to say, we had really, what we're saying today, 23 years after, it's because we out for it we work on it we work on ourselves. we decided both to invest in our life to change then we can see uh the dream we have in our heart to be fulfilled i had the dream because when i met you i was doing my own business mm -hmm. and you were doing your own stuff too mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we had the choice to just continue this way and to just have both you know our stuff each side but in my heart 
I want to work in business with you. I want to build with you. I want to be with you. This is was part of my dream. And it was not easy all the time in the beginning. It was tougher maybe, but we we felt for it and we decided to just continue to work on ourselves and to just develop the what we needed to be better together and today it's amazing and today i live the the dream i had in my heart but mm -hmm. this is an encouragement for some people right now said so you don't understand my husband is not is resisting me mm -hmm. in my business or my i try to do network marketing and i i don't have support from my family or from my husband or i'm by myself to face to organize my life my family take care of the kids doing all the tasks at home doing try to work on the day try to build my side you know this I hustle said, yeah, business yeah. then you don't understand. we understand we know what it is and we were not on the same <laughs> page all the time but if we apply that and we change our mindset and we put some system and strategies we can succeed we had a client a long long time ago uh, when we started into this business uh, she had gone to school as a lawyer and uh, yeah. she had no driver's license no. Uh, she would you know in the snow with kid. the babies and yeah. try to take the bus and try to, to and she was not supported at all by no. her husband no. and then she came to you uh, to be coached that back then and uh, she was ready to invest in herself because her life you and know, nobody was supporting her. Nobody. Her family, her father, her mother, her yeah. husband, nobody was supporting her. And, and she was she working she like a nurse during the weekend yeah, and yeah, night yeah. and yeah. did her lawyer school and have the kid. Yeah, and yeah. It was very expensive, you know, to go and the time mm. consuming. And then you got the children and so on, so on, the family not supporting you. And so when she came in to be coached by you, you put a structure in her life. And I remember being part of that in certain places. Uh, so we had her get her driver's license because if we look back her, in her family, no woman had, had a driver's mm -hmm. license. All right. We do. We did this a couple of times with a couple of women. Now, cycle. So, yeah, it's a We're talking about cycles here. Family mm -hmm. cycles just mm -hmm. dropping into their life. So you've got the husband has cycles from his family and she had cycles from her family. And we started structuring th stuff. We started, you know, said this has got what you got to do, right? And in the, the years that passed, she went from lawyer to judge. Now, we brought her up there with a car. Uh, she's got the best car around and so on, so on. And her life changed. You see, it was possible for her, even if she didn't have no support with the right coaching she had with you, we got her license, a driver's license. We got her a career, and we've got, we pushed and her. She and she was full of us. debt, and all debt was paid too. Yeah, all the debts got paid because there was a structure, there mm -hmm. was a way to do it. She was mentored through the process, <clears throat> and naturally supported. And then we see that anything that can be fixed. She was overwhelmed. Yeah, she didn't have the money. No, she didn't have the resources. She didn't have the support. And then we started walking into her life and then everything changed. So when everything's put back in place the right way, what happens is now you're moving ahead. Now, coming back to cycles and her family, the women had these cycles, no mm -hmm. success. No, just, the, just, nice a job, just a job, just a career, just, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, just a little career. But she wanted more. She wanted she to, had a dream. She had a dream and, and she wanted all. That's right. Mm -hmm. So that's the basic of yeah. our, 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 our podcast here is if you want it all, you, you have can, to break some cycle <laughs> and it's going to be probably tough. Yeah. There's things that you're going to have to do Yeah. because you're coming out of cycles. Your mindset's got to change. Your, your skill set's got to be worked on and so on, so on. And as a woman, you got to walk out of guilty because when you feel guilty, you are <laughs> right. Yeah, you condemn yourself and you f it's, you it's focus on what you're not doing enough instead of what you do good that's and right. what yeah. yeah that's right yeah and because we have stereotype we have a belief system that want to affect our decision mm -hmm. because you take decision based on your belief system mm -hmm. and paradigm cycle in our life they are there they stay there because of our belief system. Mm -hmm. If we don't change our belief system, 
the way you see things, the way you believe your life, and you're going to keep the same paradigm. Mm -hmm. You're going to keep the same level. Then you need to change your mindset. And you need to, because your mindset, it's um, affected by the way you grew up, your family, mm -hmm. your culture, your environment, education, and you believe some stuff that block you to have it all. And this is how together we decide, no, let's build our life the way we want and ready to work on ourselves to change that. Because you have strength I don't have. And I have strength that you don't have. And instead of accusing each other on, on our weakness, weaknesses, we decided to help because if I have the strength and you don't, or you have the strength and I don't, we're going to celebrate our strength, the strength. We're going to honor our strength. We're going to submit to our strength to each other and help to build our kingdom together with our strength. <clears throat> and my strength help you weaknesses and your strengths help my weaknesses. And this is how we can be equal in partnership, queen and king, building this, the, the kingdom this way. Yeah we can have a real result for our life. And we work on it during years through the process. If you want to win, you need a partner. All, all the time. You need a team, you need partners. You need, you need somebody that's mm -hmm. stronger than you in, the, in, in certain areas. And that's how you, you succeed. If you don't have a partner, you go get yourself a partner in the world. And you, But for us, it was the best partnership we could have because we were mm -hmm. married. We mm -hmm. wouldn't betray each mm -hmm. other. And we're working for the legacy of the children. So mm -hmm. that was safer for us to do this and put our ego aside and say, okay, let's work together. And at one point we said, okay, this is your strength. This is your peak. And this is my peak. Yeah. How can we connect both worlds together mm -hmm. to, to bring this into our future? Yeah. To, to really invest in our peaks. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've been doing. We're still doing that. It's not easy all the time because... Sometimes you see that way, I see that way, but we come back at the table and say, okay, what's your strength and what's mine? This is how we got to work. This is the concept, the mm -hmm. strategy that we are going to perform like a fish. You take it out of the water. I mean, it's, it, it's stupid. Put it back in the water and it becomes, you know, wise and it's just genius goes through because that's the environment it's supposed to be in. So if I'm working in my environment, and you're working in your environment where side by side into the same goal, then we got strength. Yeah, and this is so good because like spouse, if I really say I love you, mm -hmm. I mean, my action has to follow my words. Mm -hmm. And then I say I love you. Love is su supposed to let you free and to help you to fulfill your dream and who you are, mm -hmm. not trying to change you. And same thing for you with me. Say, I love you. And you try to stop me to be really who I am and to fulfill my dream and to push for my dreams. Uh, doesn't make sense. Realize, no, our action has to follow words. And this is the place we started to work together to really want to be there for each other and to help. And when we, we decided to have kids, uh, we said, we're going to have kids together. <laughs> then we're going to take care together, you know, like it's not just one side responsibility, you know, it's not. Um, and this is why for all the impact to have kids, all the energy, time, education, all of that, we help each other <laughs> in this new journey. You know, we didn't say, oh, because I'm the mom, I am the one taking all the charge on my shoulder you took two and we help each other to keep going with her dreams and taking care of her kids at the same time it's all about the goal and once we understand that you know there's women out there that are overwhelmed with the family what's the goal what where you want to go and what do you want we always say that a, right? a lot of people they don't know what they want what you they really know. want so that, that's the first thing you get married. What did you want with this marriage? Where, where was it going? What, what's the legacy you're going to leave to your children? There yeah. is, are you, you going to just say, okay, whatever they'll just do, whatever they want to and mm -hmm. whatever. So, but we weren't average to that point. We were saying, okay, what we want to build and, and, and it's tough for us. It's tough for the kids because now they're, we're, we're more 
an instructor and we were this is where we're going this is what we want to do so and any big family that had left a legacy the children at one point they didn't know if they're going to continue into that line of work or business they had to stop and think about it because there's a lot of pressure there's a lot of decision and it's it's big to, to follow up but you got to go to that direction yeah because a couple the couple is the head ahead of the kingdom Every single one under those, th that couple. Is the foundation. It's going to follow mm -hmm. what they decided. Mm -hmm. But it's all about cycles. I come back to this because mm -hmm. in your family, there was a cycle with the women too. Mm -hmm. You decided not to go that way. Well, women in my family, they were, they were a fighter, but just to survive. And I decided I, I'm a fighter, but I just want to, I don't want to just fight to survive. That's right. Yeah. They were women that, in in survival mode, they would be very good at finding concepts and strategies, right? For short term. For short term to survive. Not long term to thrive. So you took that, brought it to another level. Consciously identifying the pattern, the paradigm, the cycle, yeah. and say no to these voices that try to want to do the same thing with me and to keep me just to survive at this level and just enough. Mm -hmm. This is a lot of people, they're facing guilt you know condemnation they feel guilty or because they listen too much these voices mm -hmm. from the family from the generation because the science the epigenetic science prove mm -hmm. now that you have the voice and the blood from generation mm -hmm. anxiety fears uh, the, you know some experience happened in the generation before and you have this memory of your blood in your blood and these voices talk to you and try to keep you in the same pattern same level and our life, we decided to really to have an intentional life, mm. not just live the life like what's going to happen, whatever. We decided to be very intentional. What we're going to build, how we're going to build, what we, do we really want? Not according from the mindset of the generation or the family or the culture. What do I really want me, Martine? Mm. What do you really want? That's right. And to respect each other because we love each other and to help each other and to build this kingdom together. Can I do it without you? Yes, for sure. Can you do it without me? For sure. But we decided to be together. And two is better than just be by myself. We did better yeah. together. We yeah. did well, more together. We wouldn't, wouldn't gone in the same direction for sure. You know, and how that would have finished. We organized all of that to be, you know, you in know, the same we place together. common goal. Yeah, intentional. Sit down and say, okay, what's the common goal here? Where do you want to go? Where I want to go? How do we live our life? What's the lifestyle? What's the goals? What you want to leave? Yeah. At the end of it, what, what's the amount of money we want to make? Is it this level or this level? That we want to reach. So if we're not in agreement there, how can we build, right? Yeah. From the very start, Yeah. we would have gone different directions because... If I want to achieve this and you say, well, I'm okay with this, we're not going the same direction, right? Exactly. And we, we, when we decided to be together, uh, married is, you know, it's not just about myself anymore. It's not just about yourself anymore. It's about the goal. And it's not about a man's stuff or girl's stuff. It's about intentional for our unity or couple together, how, what we're going to build together. That's right. Where are we going together? And, um, this is, we were able to do it. I was able to do it because you're a very secure man. To see your, your woman with leadership and goals and thriving and never put you in insecurity or nothing, you know, you, 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 you know your value, um, you, know, you know what you can do and you just, you were okay with that. You didn't try to stop me. You see, when you you sit down with a partner you expect that partner to be solid and you can depend on that partner and if that partner says this is what i'm going to do that's what she's going to do yeah see what she says she does so and you can count on her so for me you're my partner we're best friends too but we're partners in success so then all this becomes a different game I just didn't marry a woman just, uh, okay, let's get married and be average. No, let's, let's get married and what are the goals? And how do we fix this? We have two different mentalities. Two, <laughs> two different backgrounds. Two different cycles. backgrounds. We, <laughs> yeah. we have different oh, gifts yeah, a lot. and skill set. Oh, yeah. 
we sat down and said, okay, what is the business for us that we can do together and use our strengths and our skill set and our talents and our giftings and our discernment to make this happen? We didn't sometimes even for me i felt guilty as not being a good father because my mind is so much on and it still happens today i sit down and i i don't feel that i could be the father that i see other fathers be but this is kind of who i am but there's a battle there but once you sit down and you say okay this is where we want to bring the family and that, again yeah that legacy for the family yeah, and again, you come from a childhood, very tough childhood. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you decided to not to do like your dad mm -hmm. with your kids. Mm -hmm. You decided to be present for your family. And this is what you have done, you know. Um, and it's easy to look at what we don't do instead of what we changed and what we do better. Because, bef you know, 30 years, since 30 years, I was working with women abused in difficulties and I was social worker and psychology and I built some resources for women abused in Montreal and I saw so many at the same time stereotypes or the way uh, you know the mindset I'm gonna stay home and be with the kids but they're not better mother I saw it Mm -hmm. I saw it mm -hmm. again and again, slapping their kids, losing patience. Uh, oh, yeah, you were there. But because you were miserable, uh, you accept something by culture or, you know, education to do that. You're not happy. You're not fulfilled. Mm -hmm. And I think you're better when you're fulfilled. I think, you know, you, yeah. you are, you come back home, you're fulfilled. You're going to be more present for your spouse, for your kids, because you fulfill yourself. You, we, had, we decided to have kids. Okay, we had kids together. We're going to take care together. We're going to deal with all, you know, around what we have to do together. And this is the point then I decide to live my life with no regrets. And did I make mistake? Yes. Do I regret some stuff in my past? Yes. But I have the opportunity every 24 hours. Some people didn't wake up this morning and I woke up and I have the opportunity today to change my presence and my future and be better and to build on it. And we had to change a lot of cycle, toxic cycles from our family. And like you said, you know, before it was not easy, but the discipline to do it, it's so much better than the weight of regret. What's the cost today that if you don't, you're doing a side hustle, you're a woman, you feel guilty, you're overwhelmed. What's the cost it's going to cost you if you don't fix the problem? You, you can't just let this go. If you want to leave a legacy to your family, your children, you know, for me, it's get out of the old mentality culture, mm -hmm. right? a girl, a man. Uh, I mean, I, I, I met women that were extremely blessed mechanics because their father was a mechanic and they were young, you know, working on cars with, with their father and they became amazing mechanics. Mm -hmm. So it's not about girl, boy, whatever. So when you want to succeed, mm -hmm. you got to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. That's why you got to put a structure in mm -hmm. There is cycles in your life. And that's why we do what we do, because we coach people getting them out of the cycles. Because if you don't fix this cycle in 2024, in 2025, mm -hmm. you're going to end up with same cycles, same guilt, same regret, same overwhelm. You got to fix it now. You got to move in and fix these patterns, these paradigms that are messing up your life. And you don't want to look back and say, this is, I, I regret this, I regret that thing, I regret the other thing. I believe that today there's there's a different environment that's been creating uh, with women. You see more and more women in network marketing, doing side hustles, be going in careers, starting businesses, online, whatever. And they're, they're taking that jump of faith. We got to double down. There's women out there. There's people out there. You got to double down. You got to fix stuff. You got to this year, 2024. Got to say, okay, this is. I got to fix this. I can't go on in my life feeling guilty and being overwhelmed. 
Fix the problem, Marty. Yeah. Fix the problem. You know, you just said 2024, and to be intentional. Everything I do in life is to be intentional mm. and to realize what do I really want me now. Maybe I don't want the same thing than five years ago or That's the year normal. before. It's normal. We we change. I'm yeah. not the same than you you, yeah. you met 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, what do I really want now? And to be very honest with ourselves, Because I realized if I try to please all the time people around me, I'm going to be miserable and they're not going to love me more, like me more. I really have for my life to decide and... And this is a part that well, okay, this is what this is the dream for my life. This is what I really want. This is the style, the lifestyle I want. This is what I, I see that I want to build. And soon we do that because some people they're watching right now say, okay, how can I fix that? I still feel guilty. I still feel split because I want to be good everywhere. Fine, you have to realize what you really want because clarity will bring bring change. If you're not clear and intentional, you're just gonna you're gonna go to every direction but no direction, right? Mm -hmm. When you identify that, the second step in this is gonna happen to everybody when they reach their goal, fulfill their dream, voices will come. These voices come from the memory of generation. Mm -hmm. Because maybe you want something that from generation they want it, like my grandmother, mm -hmm. but she never fulfilled her dream. And I am the one chosen in my bloodline to change the story of the next generation, my life and the next generation. Mm -hmm. And this voice is going to try to, to talk to me oh, <gasps> every way to try to stop me. Mm. To stop this toxic pattern in my family with women, never succeed their destiny, never, you know, have it all, mm -hmm. just surviving. And these voices will talk, will speak all the time. And if we don't realize that this is the voices of generation or my culture, and, and if I receive this voice, I'm going to stay guilty and not good enough, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if I realize this is these voices and you're not going to stop me. I'm not going to be perfect in the process, in the journey. I will learn and I'm going to be gracious to me. Then it's normal. I'm learning. I'm going to make a mistake, but I want to change something in my life and my descendants because we're building an empire. This, is, yeah. this voice yeah. keeps cycle. The third thing, you have to be clear with people around you. If you're not clear in your intention, how you can receive the right support? We were clear with each other, right? Mm -hmm. We sit together. And because I said, do you love me? Say yes. Do you want to support me in this journey? Right? Yeah. And we talk about it. We decided that we were going to create a lifestyle. Because life goes on and on and on. If you don't have a lifestyle, you're, you're working for what? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just working for money is not enough. Mm -hmm. it's, you got It's the, the money mm -hmm. is the result of you having a goal and creating a lifestyle. Money pays you the car you want, the house you want, the life you want, mm -hmm. and, and the security for your children and your children's children. So mm -hmm. that's why you got to build a legacy. It's more about money. It's protection. It's mm -hmm. the future. So when we have different mindsets coming together like us, but we, we were clear from the very beginning. Yeah, clear. Very clear. This is the lifestyle we wanted. We wanted to work together. Yeah. We didn't know how. We, we, we figured it out with time because we, we got keys in our life. We got the understanding, the knowledge, the mentorship that we needed. Yeah. And then we realized, okay, this is how we're going to do it. Because at the very first, you've got dreams. You, we, we came together. We loved each other. and said, okay, let's do this. But we didn't know how. Well, and the only thing we knew is we wanted to work together. Now, then the family and the people around you, then they start coming in. You're crazy. No, 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 no. You don't, nah. yeah. And then these the, voices. All these voices. <laughs> outside and inside. Outside. Mm -hmm. and that's where I was going to, I was going there. It's because you have these voices. Inside. You know, this mindset. And you're saying, okay, it's epigenetics. You know, it's, it's in, in the DNA. It's been there, those voices. To keep you in the same place. Uh, and you're fighting against yourself, right? 
and you're fighting against these voices and then all of a sudden the exterior comes in oh yeah because there's one thing that we understood that you attract whatever you are so if you're in that mindset then the voices will have power over you so you mm -hmm. got to change you got to shift that but first of all what's the what's the lifestyle what's the mindset get out of the overwhelm get a structure yeah this is the this is the the last point the fourth point because after we have clarity mm -hmm. we clarity will bring order and order will bring a structure yeah. and now you can just take you know s to just reflect and say how i'm going to structure my life then i can build my dream and not feeling guilty but the first point and he just said something good you know the voice is inside and the voice is outside right. because these voices will react too because when you decide to change you have a reaction we call that the law of polarity yeah. you take a decision you're gonna have reaction because you said that we become also of the people surrounded around you know yeah. their life and when we decide to change then people around us will react yeah and they're, they're probably going to change too it's maybe hard for people watching right now but if i want it all and i want to fulfill the dream in my life i have to be ready to let go the mindset some part of the mindset of my culture and the way i grew up and the way of the generation because if I just resist that and I want to just keep that in my life. I'm going to stop myself to fulfill my dream yeah. because all of that brought me where I am and want to keep me there. And if I want to go higher and better, I need to be ready to change that, to confront that, to just refuse. I was talking this morning in coaching. Sometimes we have to unlearn to relearn, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. we have to unlearn stuff. We learn thinking is the way and saying, no, this is not the way for me. This is not what I want in my life. Mm -hmm. And I just have one life to live. Mm -hmm. Do I'm going to keep that? You know, do I'm going to just have a life that was not my life and have this regret at the end? Then it's, it's a fight. It's a decision. And to resist this internal voice and external voices, it, it's not easy, but the price is so better, you know, the reward. You see, you go where you receive, and that's what And by success. the way, some people, they're going to criticize you also, yeah, not yeah, just yeah, resist yeah, it with the yeah. voice, but they're not going to understand what you do, and they're going to criticize what you are changing right now. Coming back to that is, is if there, there's laws, right? If you not receive, you go into an environment, not received. You got to walk out of there and and go to find where you're going to be received. But the thing is, if you were received in that environment because you're exactly the way they want you to be, and then all of a sudden you change, you're not received no more into yeah. this environment. You got to yeah. change that environment because you changed. They were not going to change. You you have to change environment because if you want to be received in the new identity. Uh, the new goals now you're gonna have to shift this now you say well I'm married and the resistance with my husband the family they don't want me to work my children look at me weird all right so now you got to create a lifestyle right yeah you got to structure a lifestyle mm -hmm. that they won't feel left out nowhere mm -hmm. that when you're doing your your career your hustle you bring in all the structure that everybody feels safe because that's what they want. And I don't feel safe mm -hmm. no more. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you see, there's all of these concepts and strategies. That's in the coaching. That's where you get yep. the coaching, the strategy, the concept, because now... And to do it with wisdom. Correct. <laughs> you gotta be not very just, wise in how you do things yeah because you can destroy if you're not wise yeah correct so but the the thing is is if you're married you're in this environment everybody feels threatened by your your decisions now you got to secure people you got to bring that protection and the way you do it the way you bring in the money everything will mm -hmm. if it's done the right way everybody's happy yeah so yeah. you know there's ways of doing things but do not stay into the environment 
a personal environment that I feel guilty, I feel overwhelmed. No, you got to structure, you you need a plan. Yeah, we need a plan because you you can have a desire, but without a plan, you're not going to do it, you know. Uh, You have to start with a desire, but you need to structure the desire, how you're going to reach your destination. You have a destination, great. Now, how are you going to do it? This is what we do in coaching. And by the way, people watching right now, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You have comments. You have some question with what we're saying right now. We're gonna, we want to hear from you. And maybe the next show, we're going to answer your question. This is important for us to answer the people watching right now. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we want to give you more than this is ask question. And we're going to answer that. Alan, another thing, and... For the end, I just yeah. want to say that it's another thing, you know, like because according to the gender, we stereotype the, the role stuff. And I think we are ready to a new uh, era right now uh, because you're, ma- you're a man, um, you work, you have a family, you have me, um, you have your kids. But for you, it's not because you had kids. Now you have to compromise all the rest because you had kids. It's normal culturally. Then you continue to do your stuff. But culturally, because of the gender, the other one has to compromise or dream or what she want to do. And this is why she feels split and she feels guilty mm-hmm. unconsciously. Yeah. Unconsciously. Maybe she's supported or she, she uh, by her husband. or But maybe these voices try to bring condemnation because of that Mm -hmm. i'm supposed to sacrifice all of this part of my life because i decided to have kids Mm. and for me it doesn't make sense you can have it all you can have it all but if you don't identify you know what try unconsciously from generation and the culture try to tell you you decided to have kids you cannot do both you cannot be good at both you know it's a way that you need to identify to confront that and to conquer that because if you don't Mm. do that you will be you're going to feel split and guilty all the time you got to lift up the battles yeah yeah, yeah, that's very good you know the thing is don't put more battles on your soul than Mm -hmm. than it can take right Mm -hmm. fix the problem Mm -hmm. Uh, that means being released of this pressure what we suggest, you know, you need concepts and strategies. Get the guilt off of your back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> at one point, yeah. you're going to fall. You could be miserable and you'll right. look back. You cannot, and, and look at your life and, no, no, build that lifestyle now. Wherever you at, you can rebuild this. Rebuild on old runes, right? Yeah. Whatever it's it's gone to, you can shift this. With the right teaching, the right concepts, the right strategies, you you can walk out of any situation. Now, is it going to be easy? No, because now you got to reverse engineer all this. You got to go to the end. What do you want to build today? Because it all comes down to that. What's the price you're ready to pay to mm-hmm. fix it up? You want this goal? It's going to cost. Mm-hmm. Now, if you don't go for this goal, what's go- it's going to cost you anyway. You got on one side cost of regret, overwhelm, you know, deception, and deceived. And the other one, no pain, no gain. You, you got to change you, change you, change you, change you, change you. Go on, work on yourself, and then you're moving ahead. At the same time, you're protecting your legacy because the, the, the thing is, as a couple, we're building a legacy. Yeah. If you're not building a legacy, you're building your solo, right? He's on his side, you're on his side man cave here and the the girl (laughs) meeting on there sitting at a table complaining to her girlfriends about her husband he's in the man cave with a pizza and a beer and he's complaining about his wife and everything is going well but not the other side (laughs) so who are going to pay the price the kids are going to pay the price yeah the the goal is going to pay the price the future is going to pay the price and this is important what we're seeing right now because if young couple are watching our show right now this is the time now to fix things (laughs) now uh, before having kids before to be you know full time together or you just together but to just say, what is the lifestyle we want? What do we want to build? To be intentional, where we where we want to go? Where this is good conversation to have in the yeah, beginning. Yeah. You know, it's gonna help to 
support each other and to build something real together, yeah. not be 50 years later and say, I don't know you, you don't know me, and the kids is not at home anymore, and how are we going to face the next phase in our life, you know? And for older couple right now watching us, it's never too late. Mm. It's never too late to decide to change the cycle mm. and to refocus with the right system because if stuff is not going well in our life it's because we have the wrong system mm -hmm. if we realize you grew up one way i grew up completely a different way than you and we didn't stay on this is the way because this is the way i grew up mm -hmm. you you didn't stay on that and i didn't stay on that mm -hmm. because we didn't want to have the greek roman system culturally in our life we want to have the royal system mm -hmm. the way king and queen will manage their kingdom and to be ready to relearn to unlearn and relearn the right way with the right system to build an empire for our life and their family mm -hmm. and this is always always possible no matter you know the age we have or the stage we are it's possible on a finishing note here, I just wanted to put it because we've been helping women for 20 some years, getting their lives back together. And that was one of your peaks, one of your strong points. Before I knew you, you were helping women that were in distress and all kinds of bad situations. So you saw what happened in the families. You were helping these women uh, being relocated, helping them out of this, the violence and everything, the families, destructions. You went to school for this. You went to university for this. You you worked in this business. You you know how women think and what they went through. And then for 20 some years, you've been coaching women into getting their lives back together and rebuilding again. So this is nothing new for you. You've been doing this. Yeah, I this. didn't become a coach like no, no, many no, no. people. You've they become coach long, without, long you know. Time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, take two, buy two, three courses and you're coaching. Oh, my Lord. You did this yeah. all your life. You're 48 years old. And the only thing you did was help women rebuild their lives. Restore to, their life. Restore their lives. to reach their goals. That's why you say to the, to the women out there, you know, you can have it all. I've been doing this for a long, long time. In my own life, I have, a, I have the fruit and I have thousands of women to just go and get what they desire. Correct. So I just want to put this final notes. The people li listening to this podcast I got to understand that you didn't, we didn't start last week. We didn't buy a course and like yeah. many and said, <laughs> okay, I'm going to start charging, be a coach. You did this all your yeah. life. You came from three generations of women. They're, that The women before you we're doing concepts and strategies for survival for their families. You, you have this, this, this gifting of concept and strategies, but you now you're using it to get other people that were in survival, other yeah. women, to bring them into their mm -hmm. destiny and their career to be fulfilled and not ending up like the mothers before you. Yeah, exactly. So that's and to go higher, that. that's good. You know, I want to encourage a lot of people watching the show right now that it's possible to fulfill your dream no matter the resistance you have maybe you don't have the support you want i don't you were talking about this lady that she was a uh, lawyer and uh, she didn't have support from her husband mm -hmm. and we we didn't accuse her husband we didn't came against we just focused on strategy yeah. system he'll help her to believe in her and you know what yourself, happened yeah. <laughs> year after her husband started to support her you know it's she can have it all exactly. she didn't compromise her dream to please her husband and try to uh diminish her, her comp you know her capacity or potential she, she we put strategies uh we we put a system and she was she was able to go and reach that and to have the support the time she was doing that with her coaching and at the same time after mm -hmm. uh, she was able to have the support of her husband and he, he decided yeah. to move for her because of her job yeah, after that city, yeah. because she became judge and he was there and I was there and it, it's amazing this is why it's so possible yeah well in the world we we in the US we hear a lot of this a happy wife a happy life but we don't know the meaning of this how profound profound this could be right yeah uh so happy wife means you know a happy wife that so she has to be fulfilled and she's part of the team and the house and, and in the family and culturally 
you know sometimes this gets messed up but it's possible uh, to get all this back together so put comments there what you think about this show down there uh, and let us know what you would like us to talk about because we'll be Absolutely. doing a lot of stuff yeah. in the future. All then right. we were blessed to be with you today. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. And we're going to see you in the next show. Bye-bye.